I feel like having French toast. French toast, I think, is probably the easiest of all the sweeter, the sweet family of breakfast foods you can make, like pancakes, crepes, waffles. French toast, it comes half prepared already unless you make your own bread. In addition to being one of the easiest of the sweet breakfast, it's also one of the richest if you do it the way I'm about to do it. All right, so what I have here, some brioche. I left it out overnight, you know, under a towel so it stales up a little bit. And that way, when we put it in our soon to be custard uh, concoction, it's gonna absorb more of that moisture. It's gonna be richer, it's gonna be creamier, it's gonna be more custardy. It's gonna be awesome. Watch how we do it. So our first thing we're doing, heavy cream. I'm, doing, I'm making a bunch of these, so I'm gonna do the whole pint. Now, as far as the eggs go, come back. You can do as many as you want. If you want it super eggy, like I'm gonna have it, put a bunch of eggs in. If you want it less eggy, more creamy, less eggs. That's simple. You can do yolks, you can do whole eggs. I'm doing whole eggs. The more yolk you use, the richer it's gonna be. Um, the egg white will bind it, the yolk will not bind it quite so much. Boom. Two, three, four, five. Five eggs, one pint of cream. This is the kind of thing you can really beat and not worry about overbeating, at least as far as I can tell. I should have gotten a bigger bowl. Really want to emulsify the eggs, get it incorporated with the cream. You essentially want to make a custard. Salt in there, don't be stingy with the salt. Sugar, not as much as you think. We're gonna put maple syrup on this. It's gonna be super sweet already. I'm doing two of these, one, Two, vanilla extract, teaspoon, and cinnamon. I only have a little bit of cinnamon left. I wish I had more. A bunch of cinnamon. And we're gonna mix this until it's very well incorporated. I've decided I want one more egg in there. That's it. That's our batter. It's that simple. So the pan is preheating, and what we're gonna do in the meantime is take our brioche, and we're gonna just drop it in to soak. Get it submerged. Your fingers are gonna get dirty here, folks. You're gonna get some cream, some batter on them. Boom, boom. We just let them sit. After about a minute or so, flip them over. The pan has been preheating on medium low for a few minutes now. It's all warmed up. I'm gonna throw some unsalted butter in, and that's what we want. We don't want butter to burn as soon as it hits the pan. All right, the butter's melted down. The bread's been soaking for a few minutes. Time to drop them in. Just pick them up. Boom. Boom. Let's take a look here. Not quite. Not quite what we want yet. Oh, it's looking pretty good now, though. We'll flip them back after for a little bit more. But that's about, this right here is what we're going for. I'd like that to be throughout the entire thing. We'll see. Oh man, I wish you could smell this, though. Nice. This is what we want, nice, soft, custardy, delicious French toast. There we go. Got some maple syrup here. Here we go. And I don't like using much. The maple syrup's pretty strong. Just a little bit. All right, that's good. I'm so excited to eat this. It's French toast. It's gonna to be delicious no matter what. That's the best. It's creamy, custardy on the inside. 
cooked on the outside. There's nothing else to say. It's delicious, it's easy. Make some French toast, it takes 15, 20 minutes maybe. Hopefully you got something out of this video. It was pretty quick and easy. French toast doesn't take very long to make. It's not a difficult thing to make. So thank you for watching. Please like the video if you haven't, it helps me out a lot. If you're not a subscriber yet, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed. That's all I got, that's it.